We're now looking at Tropical Storm Barbara, and right out to its west, Tropical Storm Cosme is not too far behind. We have a widespread damaging wind threat through portions of the Southern Plains, and the Southeast and Mid-Atlantic are getting involved today as well. It's June 8th, 2025, let's get into the updates. What is going on in the Eastern Pacific? We now have Tropical Storm Barbara, Tropical Storm Cosme is potentially under 24 hours away from developing, and we also have about a 40 to 50% chance over the next five to seven days for Tropical Storm Delilah to form. I want to say the Eastern Pacific is active, but that kind of seems like an understatement. The good news for now is all of these look like they're just going to move out into the open ocean. But if that changes, I'll be the first to let you know. We have a moderate or level 4 out of 5 risk for severe weather today across portions of the Southern Plains. Dallas-Fort Worth is in this moderate risk and it's also bordering with Lubbock and Oklahoma City. Right now we have a 30-45% to 45 hatch risk for damaging winds and a 15-30% to 30 hatch region for damaging hail. This could mean 4 5 inch plus size hail potentially. As we get into the late afternoon and early evening hours, stronger severe thunderstorms may begin firing off up here in the panhandle of Texas and western Oklahoma. Now earlier on this is going to be more of a discrete setup but we do expect this to consolidate into an MCS type structure and a full-blown derecho is on the table today. A derecho if you don't know is basically widespread damaging winds that can reach gusts of 100 plus miles per hour associated with a severe thunderstorm. We are seeing the possibility across some of our models of over 100 mile per hour gusts today. The latest Rufus run is showing the potential for 119 mile per hour gusts. Now this is likely on the high end. I'm not saying it's not possible but the Rufus model sometimes will spit out kind of the worst case scenario. Regardless, we're very likely to have damaging winds out here and again, very, very large hail. We're seeing surface cape values out here between five to 6,000 joules per kilogram possibly, and that is gonna give us the potential for those very strong updrafts, which again is what can produce that large hail. For the east, as we get into the mid to late afternoon, we could see some strong thunderstorms rolling in and up the coast. I would say as we get into the early to mid evening hours, I'm especially watching portions of the southern mid-Atlantic, Virginia, and eastern North Carolina. We do have a 5% tour risk stretching from Washington, D.C. all the way down here to almost Virginia Beach. And by the way, we have a large 5% tornado risk out here in the plains as well. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I live stream every day as well to try to answer all of your questions. So if you see me on live, stop by and say hi. Have a great Sunday, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.